Hi guys, I'm David with Media Unlock Tech, and today I'm going to be showing you how to switch out your CD optical drive for a CD caddy and add a second hard drive into your MacBook Pro mid-2012. Now this will work on any of the 2009 to 2012 unibody MacBook Pros. They're all pretty much interchangeable when it comes to size and parts. So I ordered two different CD caddies, um, as you can see right here, and I didn't really know which one to get because um, according to one of them, they're saying that they were the only ones that made a specific CD caddy for the MacBook Pro mid-2012. And uh, But this one right here came with a few more components and parts, it looks like, and we're going to take them out here in a second. And, um, and it was a few dollars cheaper. So what we're going to do is we're going to call this CD caddy number one, CD caddy number two. So if you guys do decide you're interested in purchasing one of these, there will be a link down below and you can pick one or two. So one's going to be in the plastic kind of like this and then two will be in the larger plastic like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go on and pull out CD Caddy number two and see what we have in there real quick before we start our install. So you just get your basic optical drive kind of caddy and it comes with, it looks like a few screws and um, and that's about it. A few screws and a, and a screwdriver. So you get a, a few things with this one. I like this one because it comes with two screwdrivers and extra screws. And let's see how it feels. That one feels a little bit on the flimsy side. They almost look identical to each other, to be honest. It's almost like it's almost a very similar product, just the different things that it's coming with. And uh, so this one, you get a little package that's kind of nice. You get a little package of uh, tools and screws. Um, you get some see-through screws, which is kind of crazy looking. I guess they're made out of plastic. So uh, you have that, and then here's the CD Caddy, which both kind of feel kind of flimsy. So on CD Caddy number one, you're going to get a few extra parts for CD Caddy number two. It's very similar, if not almost the same thing, and you get a few less parts. So um, you're going to need these CD caddies um, to fit where your optical drive will be so that you can put the hard drive in there. And again, we're going to put in 16 gigs of RAM and a SSD. Pretty excited about that. 250 gigs, Samsung, it's got the Evo. Uh, it's supposedly really quick. It's faster than your average um, hard or SSD, I guess, for the price range. So I paid about 140 for that. There will be links down below for everything. And then I got a little toolkit. Um, so I guess let's get started. Let me show you guys how to actually take this uh, MacBook apart and uh, switch out these components. And then of course uh, we're going to have another video that's going to show you how to, and we'll put a link up, up right here for that. Um, we're going to show you how to take out the optical drive because I'll just have this the optical drive once we take it out of the MacBook Pro Unibody 2012. Uh, I don't really have a place for it. My optical drive and my MacBook Pro 2009 needs an optical drive because it died. Um, so we're going to put that optical drive in here. So this will have a working optical CD drive. So the first thing you want to do is take out all 10 screws on the back. Um, I'm going to add in a paper diagram that will allow you to uh, take the screws off the di take the screws out and put them on the diagram. I'll add circles. So mainly just to be a, a picture of the laptop, uh, the back of it, where there'll be circles and you can just take your screws right out and, uh, and just put them in the circles so you know exactly where they're at so you don't lose your screws because these are some pretty tiny screws and there's three different types of screws all together. So, um, so I will add a link down below and there'll be a diagram you can go download. Uh, there'll also be a diagram for the inside that I'm going to do and I'll outline all the places to take out screws when you're doing the hard drive and the uh, the CD drive. So right now we're just going to take these out. And I've done this enough that I know exactly where every screw goes without even thinking about it.
we have now opened the back of the MacBook Pro, as you guys saw. Um, a few things to mention. One, I do have a protective case on the front of this, so I'm not worried about scratching up my, and it's on a, uh, a sheet, so I'm not worried about scratching up the top of my MacBook Pro. But uh, suggestion is you want to put a sheet or a towel or something under it so you're not going to be scratching the top of this. Or if you already have a protective case kind of on the front, that will work as well. Just a suggestion, you know, you want to try to keep your Mac in the best shape possible. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to install the hard drive. Um, it's a pretty simple install. Um, but before you do that, when you're going to go on and pop out the power cord, which is going to be right here, and we're just going to pull up on it and just pull it out. Um, a lot of people tell you to use these little uh, small plastic pieces that help pry things. Anyways, I kind of have a, a, kind of a long nails at the moment, so I'm just going to use my fingernails, and I was able to just pry that up. Now, this is where your RAM goes. We're going to put that in here in a minute. Um, but for now, we're going to start out with the hard drive. So let's go on and put in the hard drive. So let's take out the hard drive. So the first thing that we're going to do is just pull these out. And again, I will make a, I will take some pictures of the back of this and add in some circles and diagrams. So if you want, when you're done pulling this stuff out, there'll be a place to put it on a piece of paper. You'll just print out the piece of paper and put things where they go on the paper. And that may make it easier for you guys as um, far as everything is concerned. So I believe it's just four screws if I remember correctly. So I'm just gonna pull all these out. And again, there will be a link to all the products in the description down below. So if you are interested in picking up any of these products, then there will be a link. So once you've done that, as you can see, it popped right up. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pull that off. And we're going to need to detach um, these little pieces right here. Um, and I'll give you guys a closer look at that. But on the side of the hard drive, as you can see, there's these little pieces, so we're going to pull those off and we're going to put those on the new hard drive. So, uh, again, we're going to go back to the toolkit I used earlier. And we need to find a piece that fits. So, I believe this one looks like it might be small enough. And so that fits in there pretty good. So, we're going to. Take all four of those pieces out, and I guess I need to make sure I push this in all the way. And we're just going to take these four little pieces right out. Sorry if this is a little slow for you guys, but I really want to hit all the details and really show you guys how to do this so there's no questions. Um, I, the worst thing in the world is when people jump over things and I'm trying to understand how to put something together. And, I don't understand it and they go too fast or they just skip over things expecting me to know what they're talking about. So I'm going to try to make this as easy as possible. So, and the last one here. So once you've done that, we're going to set this hard drive to the side because this hard drive is actually going to go right here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add in those four pieces into the solid state, which will have the same holes as the 5400 RPM 500 gig hard drive has. Um, one thing I don't like about this toolkit, they don't have the magnetized set on it, so it is kind of a pain in the butt to use a little bit because it's not magnetized. And then I got to use these other magnetized pieces to acquire it if it falls. Um, so, and they don't fit in there as well. But again, this toolkit was, I think, $5. So, as you can see, I'm having a might bit of difficulty getting these. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to screw them in by hand, the first couple threads, and I'll go back through and screw them in with the actual tool, as you guys can see here. And this, I really can't wait to get all this hooked up because this computer is going to run like a charm by the time we're done putting it together. And me 
my clumsy hands, if I can get this last piece in there. All right, we got one more to do. There we go. All right, once that's done, we're just going to connect it into this. Make sure that's lined up correctly. And then this will slide. If you notice, there's two pieces right here. That slides in there and then pushes down. And then we will take this piece and pop it on the top. Switch our piece out here. And we'll go on and screw these bad boys in. We got two more to do here. And this will secure the hard drive in place. So next we're going to install the RAM and then after we install the RAM, we will install the CD Okay guys, so installing the RAM should be a pretty easy process, so I guess the first thing we're going to do is of course open up our RAM packaging here and set it over here to the side, set it up here, and uh, let's go on and pop out these pieces. There's little pieces on each side that you just push and you can pop and then you'll just it pops up and you just pull straight out, and same thing for the next piece. Just hit the sides there. Push them all the way over, pull out. Now remember what side they're going on. And we're going to put in our Crucial RAM, which apparently has really good reviews, and it's some of the cheapest RAM that you can get. So with the Crucial, we're going to we'll angle it like this till we get down. And then once we're angled and we're set up where we need to be, We'll push it in, push down. That piece is locked into place. And now we will flip this over, line everything up, up, in, push it in and down. And that piece is locked in. So the RAM is taken care of. So now for the hard part, guys. Now we're going to take out this CD drive, disconnect everything up here, pull all the screws out, and put in our our CD caddy here, and we're going to put that there, and we're going to install a hard drive into it. All right, guys, we are on the final stage of installing our final upgrades to the MacBook Pro mid-2012. So let's go through everything that needs to be taken care of to pull this CD drive out. It's actually pretty simple, but it is a little time consuming. So first thing you wanna do is you wanna disconnect all of these. You've got three of these right here to disconnect. As you can see, one, two, three. And then there's a little tiny piece. Now this is connected into your, I believe, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth piece right here. So we're just going to very gently just pull out. Once you've done with that, we're going to take this. You've got a screw right here. And we're going to pull that up. I'm going to set that to the side. And we're going to pull this one up. All together, I believe there are, let's see here, uh, three, six, I believe nine screws we're going to take out all together. We'll pull this one up right here. Uh, so we can get that screw out. Just be very careful with everything. Now, if you do happen to hook everything back up and your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth is not working, there's a little piece that can come disconnected where it actually just came disconnected. Like it's disconnected right now and I just pushed back down and I've reconnected it. That was an issue I had the first time I tried to do that and I could not figure out why my Wi-Fi and Bluetooth went out. But this does happen, just make sure you push back on this real lightly and, it, and if, you, not, if there's nothing pushing back out at you, then it's already connected. If it is, you'll feel a little pop as it pops back into place. So we've got three more screws that we gotta take out to disconnect this part. So we're gonna go on and pull these out right here. And I'm sorry if I'm getting in the way of the shot. And our last screw right here, which I'm not even sure you really have to take this one out, but 
Let's go on and do it anyways, just for good measures. And I like to put everything in a, in a, in a spot that everything goes back in the way it came out. So if you notice my little screws up here, I've kind of set the screws to where they would pop back into place in order in the way I pulled them out. That helps me as well. Like I said, I'm gonna have a diagram set up for you guys. That should help you out a little bit. So once you've done that, we wanna very gently disconnect all this. We're gonna pull this over to the side. We're going to pull this up. Now this has a sticky piece on it, so just very gently pull that up and we'll pull that over here to the side. Now you've got three screws, they're kind of hard to see, that you gotta pull up for the CD drive. So you've got one up here by your little Bluetooth Wi-Fi piece, and we'll use my magnetized tool here to bring it out. And then we have two more right up here in the, up here in the front, right next to where you insert the CD. So um, you can't get to one of them without moving this piece right here. So again, we're gonna disconnect, or unscrew, and then we'll use my magnetized piece to put those together. And we got one more right here. And pull that out of there. Once you've got all that disconnected, um, we're going to pull out the CD drive. Now we put all the screws and everything out. So when we pull out the CD drive, we want to make sure we don't want to pull anything too hard. We don't want to like strip anything or rip any of the ribbons or anything. So very carefully, we want to make sure we kind of push this to the side a little bit. You're going to need to push your SATA cable um, for your hard drive to the side and your, there's going to be a thing on the battery. You could pull that off, but I'm going to leave it on. And then you're just going to pull up and out. Once you've done that, you're going to have to take out this piece right here. So we're just going to pull that right off. And that's going to go on the hard drive caddy. Um, so here's the caddy right here. Hard drive is going to be inserted into there. So what we're going to do is we're just going to hook this into the caddy here. So once we put in the SATA cable right here, once we pulled it off the CD drive here, um, we're going to pop in our hard drive. It's going to be really simple. We're just going to slide it in like this, push it in, make sure it's connected. Nice, and you have this little piece here if you ever want to pull it back up. And then we're going to flip it on its back like this, um, or its front, I don't really know. But we're going to flip it over like this. You're going to have your two screw pieces here. Now this does not have a third uh, screw piece at the end like the CD drive does here. If you notice, you've got your, your piece right here. Um, as you can see it right there on the up top of the screen, you don't have that at CD caddy, DVD caddy. Or, hard drive caddy, I used to call it. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide it back in, but we need to make sure everything's out of the way first. Be very careful with everything. We don't want anything to get broken. And then we're just going to double check to make sure the holes line up, and they do. And we're gonna start putting it back together. So we have our three screws here, and we're only gonna need two of them. So we're going to screw them back in. And it will take a couple minutes, but there we go. There's the first ones in there. All right, so once you've got both of those screws in, again, I would hold on to that third. Third, I have one more screw left, as you can see, um, because there is not another connect and there's not another piece that comes out of the back here. So um, now what we're going to do is we're going to put this piece back together and make sure that this is connected or your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth will not work. And we're going to screw all those screws back in. So we've got the two long ones are gonna go over here. And you've got this little plastic piece. Or not in plastic, but little metal piece that needs to pop up on top of this. 
So then we're going to get that metal piece in there right. There we go. And then we're going to connect in the first long screw. And we'll go on and connect in second long screw. And then we'll go on and tighten those down. And make sure all these pieces here are still connected. You want to push down not too much pressure. You don't want to hurt anything. All right, so we've got three more screws left. As you notice, we put these last three in right here. And now I'm going to pull this piece out and slide it into where it goes. This plastic piece has to be above. It fits in between the the ribbon here and this piece right here, um, and it should fit in nice. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go on and put the bigger screw in first and go on and secure that. And that's good. And then we got our two smaller screws right here left, and then we'll be done installing all screws, and we'll just have to put ribbons. Again, watch out that you don't get your ribbon caught in your screw. You gotta be very careful with that. And our last one. So now that's good. Now we've just got a few more connections to make. And we'll be finished and ready to boot her up. So we're going to push this down, and all these are just going to they all fit back into spot. And then we just have our little Bluetooth piece. Be very careful with it. And it just you just push it back in. And now everything's hooked up, feels good and secure. Make sure all my screws there. I've only got one screw left over, which means I'm not missing any. Um, that one was left over from this, the CD drive, which, as I mentioned earlier, the new hard drive caddy does not have that little piece up there at the top. So that's in there. Um, and we want to run this cord maybe a little bit seamlessly around. We want to go on and plug in our power. Now that we've got everything hooked up and power is good and got that all secure, so everything is good to go. We will pop this back on. And then I've got a little tray full of the screws that we're going to need to hook all that back up. You've got your three long screws here, a short screw. You got your short screws down here on the bottom. And on each side, it's a short screw, but there's a little bit of extra metal from the uh, head of the screw to uh, the bottom, there's a little bit of extra metal than you get with these, where this is just a straight screw all the way up to the head. So you know that these side screws are gonna be a little bit different than these three screws down here, this screw up here, and then of course these are the three long screws that goes in the back. Um, again, down below, look, in, uh, look down below in the description bar, there will be a link so you can download a picture of this, and I'll add in like circles so you know where to put everything. Um, and you can use that as a diagram. So once you take the screw out, you just put it in, in the circle. And then when you're ready to put everything back together, you take it out of the circle and put it back on the actual computer. And we will also do that for um, the inside of here as well. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to throw these screws back on, but I'm not going to bore you guys with that. And we'll boot up the computer and see how much quicker it is. All right, so we've got everything installed on the MacBook Pro, the new hard drive, the new RAM, and uh, of course, uh, setting up the old hard drive in the new hard drive bay. So we have two hard drives in theory on this computer. We have an SSD as our main hard drive, 250 gigs. Um, that was uh, a Samsung. So we're gonna boot it up. It's gonna take a second, probably that first time it boots up. And then what we're going to do is go into disk utility and format the hard drive. Uh, the old hard drive, the 500 gig 5400 RPM one that we put into the second bay and we left the, of course, the SSD, we put that into the main bay. So the SSD is booting up, we'll uh, open up uh, Apple settings so you can see that everything is installed and then we will use disk utilities to format um, the second hard drive. I'm probably going to do two partitions with it, one for photography, one for videography um, and we will be done. Um, of course, the only th other thing we got to do is we got to take 
this optical drive, the next video will be taking this optical drive from the MacBook Pro, the, the, the mid-2012 one that I just recently purchased, and throwing it into my 2009 uh, MacBook uh, MacBook Pro because the CD drive or optical drive is, is messed up on it. So as you can see, Disk Utility is already open, but if you wanted to find Disk Utility, just go up here and type in DIS, and there it is, as you can see, Disk Utility. And let me zoom in just a tad bit so you guys can see a little bit better. So we got Disk Utility up here. Um, so we want to check to make sure we have the RAM and everything installed. So as you can see, we have uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and we've got the 2.9 Intel Core i7. And the next thing that we want to do is hit more info and make sure, as you can see over here, the hard drive's there. But the other way you can look is go to storage. And uh, you can see that we have the second hard drive there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to here. And uh, we're going to erase it, which there's really nothing on it right now. So it shouldn't take that long to erase it. And then once we're done with that, we're going to do a, a partition. So that's going to take a little while to erase and take too long though, maybe another 30 seconds or so. And uh, there we go, it is finished. So now we're going to go over to partition and we want to make a two partitions evenly. So there are two partitions there and then we're going to apply. Once I apply, I'll go back in and rename the partitions and that will be that. So hopefully this video helped you out. Uh, if you guys would like to watch the video of how to clone the hard drive, um, I will add a link in there. Pretty much all the links for this whole entire series of cloning the hard drive, adding in the new CD drive, adding in the new uh, hard drives uh, between the two computers and everything. Uh, I'll have a link at the end of this video and you'll be able to click on what video you want to watch. I believe it's going to be roughly a four or five part video that's kind of just showing you how to take care of a few things on your MacBook Pro. Anyways, hope this helped you out. We'll catch you guys next time. I'm David with Media Unlock Tech.